You waste money if you put it somewhere where it doesn't bring you any benefit. You wasted the money. You had something good, you didn't do something good with it. You wasted your time, you could have done something so much better with your time. In other words, there's something there, but you're not using it the right way, that is also wasting it. So Allah is not necessarily talking about people who don't pray. He's not limiting the conversation to people who don't pray. He's talking about people who don't benefit from their prayer. They don't benefit. They wasted it. The prayer is supposed to transform me. It's supposed to transform you. It's supposed to change something in us. You, why is it supposed to change something in us? This is already, this is the remarkable eloquence of the Quran. In the previous ayah we learned, people heard the ayat of Ar-Rahman. And when they heard the ayat, what happened to them? What happened? They fell into sajda. Tell me what happens in your salah. You stand and you listen to the ayat of Ar-Rahman. And what are the next phase in salah? What's the next phase in every rak'ah, the final phase? You fall into sajda. In other words, what you physically do, you're supposed to experience emotionally as well. You're supposed to be so overwhelmed by the word of Allah that you just fall in before Allah. It's supposed to actually not only be a mechanical thing, it's supposed to be a natural consequence of experiencing the word of Allah. As a matter of fact, when you recite the ayat, you should want to go into sajda not because you ate too much or because you're tired, but because these ayat are so powerful that you can't even hold yourself up anymore. You can't even, your knees are wobbling because you just, you're overwhelmed by Allah and you just want to fall.